Hi everyone, it's Sean, and I wanted to walk through the basics of the first portion of the CSS Zen Garden assignment. Um, this is an assignment that is broken into two pieces. Uh, the first one are the redesign concepts, and the second one is the redesign itself. So, I'm going to dive into how to complete the redesign concepts portion of the assignment right now. Um, as you can see here, uh, we're looking at the assignment page, and you can see that we basically want to complete some basic wireframes, we want to exhibit some basic design sense, and uh, we want to uh, fulfill the assignment scenario requirements. Assignment scenario requirements for this one are pretty simple. If we click over to the repository, uh, you'll notice that there is um, a description for this assignment overall as well as uh, broken out sections for part one and part two. So on part one um, we're going to focus on these deliverables right here and uh, what that is is uh, wireframes that show the placement of information on the page and a written description of your approach to the redesign. Uh, in that written description you should mention your overall concept and theme, uh, how you hope to impact or affect the user, and links to other inspirational designs um, that you've looked at. So for those who are not aware um, of what CSS Zen Garden is. Uh, it is this website, and um, this is a website that people have used for many years to illustrate the power of CSS and the ability to change the look and feel of the website uh, very significantly based only on CSS. So as we click through, we can see that there are many, many different approaches to this. Um, and the HTML never changes. So although the page appearance and presentation and ordering uh, changes significantly, the, the HTML itself uh, is never changed. So uh, as you can see, we have many, many, many different varieties of look and feel that we can achieve. And these are all done entirely through CSS style sheet manipulation. So one of the things that you probably should do is click through a bunch of these uh, previous uh, designs. Uh, there are some really incredible ones that can both uh, be stimulating just to get ideas going, and it can also kind of give you a lot of ideas about what might be possible uh, by simply modifying uh, the CSS. Now, as we've worked through other assignments, many of you have mentioned that um, you feel like you want to slow down and think a little more about your design and presentation. And that's exactly what we're doing for this assignment. Uh, the goal is to create some wireframes. Wireframes are, are documents that help you think about uh, visual presentation and plan it properly. Um, we have this page on planning visual presentation where uh, you have links to some different articles about wireframes. Um, these are great articles that tell you a lot about what you're trying to achieve with a wireframe and give you a lot of strategies for approaching uh, planning your design. Um, and then also, it's really important that you uh, take a look at these wireframing tools. Uh, you're probably going to want to use one of these tools. Uh, all of them are sufficient, and if you wanted to, you could simply use any drawing program uh, out there to do wireframes. You could even just draw it out on paper and, and take a photo or scan it in if you wanted to, um, like in the illustration above on this page. But um, it is going to be important uh, to, to get your wireframes uh, in order, and that's going to help you think about what information you want to put on the page. When you look at CSS Zen Garden, you'll notice that there are different areas of the page. And in fact, if we go to the repository and click into the index.html, you'll see that uh, all of these areas are sort of well labeled. Um, they have IDs, they have classes, and so one of your the first things that you're going to need to do is sort of go through this file and go through the CSS Zen Garden homepage and get an idea of what parts there are to the page. When you have a better idea of what parts there are to the page, then you'll be able to uh, think about um, how you want to organize information on the page. You can also uh, consult the style.css file, which gives you the default style for CSS Zen Garden. So you can really uh, get a, um, a good idea of how they've achieved the existing base design. You can also check out the repository for all of the CSS Zen Garden styles on GitHub. If you have any questions about how did any given style achieve an effect or get a look, um, you can look at all of that and learn from, from all of it. So uh, 
that's great. Once you have an idea kind of of what the different parts are, um, you can start thinking about how you might want to uh, order them all. And so to do that, uh, you might want to um, use a tool. I'm I'm in Mockingbird here, uh, so in inside of Go Mockingbird, I've I've got a home page set up, and I've just uh, I've just uh, you know thrown a few different things on the page. Um, we can see that uh, you know we want the road to enlightenment, and so what is all this about? Um, we might uh, you know add something here. Like for example, over here we probably need a heading to indicate that this is um, like other designs. I can't and uh, so we can we can sort of style that like so and it'll help us pop things in there now these are all each of these tools works a little bit differently they're all designed to be very easy and very fast so once you get used to them you're going to be able to kind of uh, pull them out and uh, use all these different elements and the point is not to have something that looks beautiful the point is to have something that defines sort of what you're going to put on the page you know so um, so it, it's helpful sometimes to use um, some uh, some actual text from the page so that you uh, sort of can see where you're going with things. Um, you know, we can set stuff up, uh, pull out text areas. Text areas um, come with a bunch of uh, placeholder text, so that's that's pretty great. Um, we can also modify the text that's in there. So if that's too much, we can uh, do something like that. So once we have all of this done, um, we want to export this as static files. Uh, so I don't want a link to your Go Mockingbird site or to your uh, Basalmic site or anything right now. Um, what I really want you to do is uh, to turn these all into static files and actually put them into your repository so that you can turn them in. So um, I wanted to show you how to handle that. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to do is um, is export. Um, I like to export my wireframes to PDF uh, because um, sometimes you do linked wireframes and PDFs can maintain the linkage. Um, for this, it doesn't really matter, so you can do PDF or PNG. Um, I'll accept either. Uh, I will go ahead and put them in PDF, and I'm going to call this CSS Zen Garden is my project name. Say OK. Um, it's nagging me to activate my account because I've signed up for a free account here. Um, a free account on Go Mockingbird allows you to have one project with 10 pages in it. For our purposes here, that's that's pretty um, pretty much fine. Uh, so now I have uh, this PDF, which, as you can see, um, there's actually two pages because I had a home and an about page, but I never put anything on the about page. And you can see that this is my wireframe uh, that I that I have set up here. So. Um, that's great. Uh, now I want to actually put this into uh, code anywhere or, or into my repository which I have cloned out to a dev box on cl code anywhere. So I've cloned the CSS in garden repository here to code anywhere and I am going to add these files to this repository. So what I'll do is I will um, I'm going to right click and I'm going to uh, actually create a folder and this folder is going to be called design um, and I'm just gonna put all of this stuff inside of my design folder here and so I need to create two things the first thing I need to create is a file and this file I'm going to call um, I'm going to call it uh, design concepts HTML now uh, or I don't have to call it HTML I'm gonna call it MD because that way it'll look prettier in my repository and I'm I don't need an HTML file I'm just keeping notes for myself so I just want to be able to read this text um, notice that uh, we want to follow our, our proper file naming conventions here um, as if this were a file that was going to be linked into our website so I'm not using any capital letters or anything I'm, I'm putting a dash between the words no spaces um, it doesn't really matter from a technical perspective for this assignment, but it's good to just be in the habit of always naming your files this way. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create that, and that's inside the design directory. 
so here I can just put uh, Ooh, I don't really like the way that that highlights that text like that. Um, and it seems a little bit small, but uh, hopefully um, that's okay. We could always go into our preferences and modify that if we wanted to. Um, I'm sure the rest of the text will be fine because we won't be making them headings. So, uh, so then here's where I would write my concept. And I would, um, I would write some uh, text about the design concept. Uh, talk about how I expect to affect my users with the style and <laughs> and you know possibly a bunch more um, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that file this is where I would put that explanation obviously your explanation would be a lot longer than this um, then I would uh, upload files so I'm gonna right click on the design folder and I'm gonna upload uh, my PDF file and to do that, I'm actually going to pull up. Um, I, I'm actually going to pull up uh, a the PDF that I downloaded. So give me one second to grab that out, and I'm going to pull and drag and drop this PDF on here so that it starts uploading. And then I'm going to say upload. And so now I can see that that PDF is here. Um, I want to rename that file. Um, so I'm going to call this uh, uh, wireframes.pdf. That'll be fine. And that's it, really. Uh, so now I have these two things in my, um, in my repository. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, commit these files in git and my comment is going to be added design concept doc and wireframes and then I'm going to uh, push this to github now with this assignment um, we don't really have to make a GH pages branch right now we will next time um, we could make a GH pages branch and we could deploy this via GH pages that would be fine and that would make it so that um, it would be that much easier to to you know give somebody a web link that they could easily use to download that PDF of wireframes um, but we don't really need to do that at this point in time so we can just push back to the master branch and if I click back over to github and refresh um, we can see that um, my design folder is there and when I go in here I can click in here and I can read uh, the markdown file which looks really nice because of how github renders markdown automatically and I can click into wireframes.pdf and view that and um, I see the same wireframe PDF that I saw before so that's all that's all good um, that's basically how to make this assignment come together now what you're really working on with this assignment is uh, your design skills. So what you want to do is make sure that you have, uh, you know, browsed around, look at some influences, um, read through the uh, Design for Developers content that we have uh, linked this week, and just really try to put together something that works from a uh, organizational point of view and sort of structural point of view. I'm not grading you necessarily on, you know, sort of the quality of your aesthetics or the quality of, um, you know, your image manipulation or something in your, in your design construction. I'm really... Um, more worried that you're able to organize information and present it in such a way that it's very clear to understand what what I'm looking at on the page and where different functionality is supposed to live. So that's the idea. Um, hopefully we get some uh, really pretty uh, CSS's in garden websites. So we'll click to um, back to this original one here and uh, uh, they're really beautiful. This is a fun project. Uh, have fun with it. Um, explore all the different concepts. I, I think it's, uh, this is, like I say, doing this is, is really a rite of passage uh, for people working on in, in web development and especially working on front-end style and design. So uh, keep that in mind. Have a lot of fun and uh, good luck making an awesome redesign for CSS Zen Garden.